this tutorial, we will learn about the areas function. So what is areas function? It is a lookup and a reference function that counts the total number of areas within a reference. And the syntax of this areas function is equal to areas within bracket reference. So this reference is a one or more non-contagious cell reference or one or more contagious range or one or more contagious name range of cells. It can be anything. So how does it work? So with different examples, we'll understand how this areas function works. So first equal to areas reference. Here we will give a single cell reference. So for single cell reference, we do not have to put any extra brackets. So first select here, bracket close and enter. We got one. Now we will enter a contiguous cells equal to areas discontiguous cells bracket close and enter same one because l1 is a single range and this one is also m1 to m6 is single area that is why it is giving one now here we'll use non-contiguous references equal to areas bracket open select this cell comma this cell comma this cell any reference bracket close but this will not work you have entered too many arguments for this function because when we enter range that is more than one reference then you have to put one extra bracket bracket close now press enter we got three because here is k1 one area k2 to o3 second area k4 to k8 third area so it is returning 3. Now here we will count the area of a name range. So we have already created a name range with area 1, 2, 3. So we will check it equal to areas then area 1. So this is area 1 bracket close and enter. We got 1 and here we have given single bracket. So if I want to add two name range then we have to get double bracket equal to areas then again another bracket area 1 comma area 2 comma area 3 bracket close and bracket close for areas enter it is running 3 now let's check if we want to mix this area normal reference plus name range what will happen equal to areas then bracket open select this range comma area one bracket close bracket close enter we get two now here we have a two cell reference we have created this range as a as this range and this range as b so we can see here for this range and this range here we have one intersection point two intersection point and here three intersection point so we'll count this in, in intersection point so to count the intersection point you have to use in this way equal to areas bracket open our range is a space b bracket close bracket close enter we have three intersection points so i hope you have understood this tutorial very well but still if you have any problem regarding this tutorial you can write me in the comment section i will surely help you out if you like this video please hit the like button and share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe our channel to support us thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next tutorial